Now, the next thing we are just going to do is, these are the two straps that I've cut out. You are just going to align it this way. Pull them on themselves this way and gum it together. You can see that I already have something like a V shape or an L shape. Now, see, I've tried to gum them together after placing them that way. I just place them perpendicular to one another, like I'm forming an L shape. It depends on how I place it though. Now, if I place it this way, you can see that I'm already forming a tongue sander like that. So, which means like this, you have already formed a particular kind of tongue sander. All you need to do now is to just insert into this place. All you need to do is to insert here a strip like this. You cut a pattern. This one is about one centimeter. And you just insert it into this place. And then that is what will go in between the big toe and the next one. And you find out that you have created a tongue sander already. As long as it is going in between this, your toe, we call it a tongue sander. Now, for the next one, I'm just going to try to fold this sheet. You can decide to use any kind of plain sheet you want to use or a cardboard as you wish. But I just want to show us another way in which we can draw our sander, our tongue sander. After folding it like this, I'm going to measure on this side from this folded part I'm going to measure one centimeter I'm just going to try to measure one centimeter I need my one centimeter to be to be as a um, three centimeter long so I'm just going to stop at three centimeter from this particular edge so which means it's stopping here so let me quickly draw it out so that we can see. So that is what I have there, as you can see. Now, yesterday I was I, I used a particular pattern. This particular pattern that I cut yesterday, that is what I'm going to use to create the design I need. Now, look at what I have. Can you see the way I place it? I'm just going to bring it down this way. You can see. If you want to use this one too, you can use it. If you don't want to use that particular side, you can increase it. You can increase it by measuring whatever width you want to use. But for this, I think I'm okay with this width that we have. This is about 3.5 centimeters. So let me cut it out so that we can see what it looks like. So we're just going to cut this way. I'm going to cut this one as well. See what we have. Can you see that we already have another kind of tongue sander or slide? Can you see? We are having already having another one. If you if this place you can see that it's like it's having an angle. You are just going to try to curve it out so that we can have a very perfect shape that you can see how this look like that is another way now considering what we have here if you want your extension to just go in between this particular place if you want it to be you know joined to this it means you have to increase this particular length you it will not be three you can make it three while you are constructing the pattern or drafting it, but you can extend it when you are true with your cutting. Now, if you don't want the extension to be part of this particular pattern, another thing you can do is you are just going to fold it out like this and try to shape it out. Now, this is what I mean. Just try to, you can just shape it this way. So that you will just create a strap. You create a strap that will be attached to it. Now you see what we have. But I think this is quite small. We can just stop at this three. This is okay. It's okay at this three. Where we stop initially. The length we started with, you know, we ended it at three centimeters. So you can just join that line and let it go there so I think that should be okay I 
as you can see what we have now so with this now you can then insert your strap just like we did in the other one just like we what we did here you know i said we can insert it here so you are just going to do the same thing for this if this is still too high you can still reduce it and then attach your strap to it for you to complete your tongue sander now you will find out that in one of the picture there is one that has a sling back so that is totally another thing entirely what you need to do is just take the measurements of the back and cut the strap length that is corresponding to that that's what we are just going to do so the measurement for for for, for where you are going to place the strap that is here and the strap that is here you are just going to measure about two inches from this center measure two inches to this side and measure about two inches i mean 2.5 on this side 2.5 on this other side too you will find out that it will be around a this one can be 2.75 why this side will be 2.5 because the distance from here to here is actually is more than the distance from here to here so for the sling back that's just what you are going to do just take the measurement around the around the last or the leg this way and make sure that when your strap is going into this place is going to be at 2.75 inch distance from this particular joint line here now according to what we have in our pattern we are now going to fix our strap now our buckle strap now don't forget you can see stitch buckle strap here which means that you can decide to you are going to place it this way not this way please you are going to place it here this way and then stitch it down you can decide to use rivet i told us the other time you can use rivet as you can see it you can see rivets these are rivets so you are just going to use it to hold the sides down that is what you are just going to use and don't forget the buckle is on this wider pattern for this smaller pattern that is where we are going to have our strap don't forget the strap you are going to place the strap on it this way that is the essence of this particular size that i draw here please if your buckle is not as wide as my buckle feel free to adjust this to the size of your buckle because it is your buckle that will determine the width of the strap that you are going to use for this particular design so as you can see what i have here this is what it's going to look like this is going to see the the buckle is going to sit on this one as i told us earlier i'm going to position it just like i have here and then rivet it down then this one is going to be on top of this side as you can see so we have a complete a complete upper now with what we have here so let me quickly show us how to fix the rivets now as you can see I've already tried to punch it just for me to locate the position so I'm just going to place it on it that's my pattern so I'm just going to place it just for me to know where to place it my buckle now I'm just trying going to try to locate that I may not fully see it let me place it on it again so just ensure that you can see whatever mark you are creating on it and i have another one here just be careful so that now you can see i have one here i have another one here so i'm placing my 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 buckle this way so i'm just going to use my punch plier to punch the side i'm going to fix my i'm going to put one rivet here now i want to rivet my own instead of stitching it so if you don't want to stitch you can as well rivet just like i'm going to do my as well so the next thing is just to insert my rivet these are my rivet it comes in set of two so insert it from under 
and you push it up so we're going to do the same thing for the second one as well so just be careful while you do that you can see that the two of them are now already out so just cover it up so you use the second set to cover And see that it's standing you cannot leave it like this we are going to revert it down so for me i use this iron to place it and then hammer it you can see how it looks like so don't use plank for your rivets or else it will deform it at the back but with iron it will help you to form a perfect you know shape at the back so that it doesn't harm the leg now let's quickly go to this don't forget i told us that we also have where this strap will be we also have it here so just make sure that you carry your pattern so that you can see how it is placed as you can see so this is what i have here this is definitely the other way around don't forget i told us one is going to be like this while the other is going to be like this when you're cutting so is for this side so i'm just going to make sure that i place it this way i just want to locate where exactly i'm going to be using so since it's going to be this way here i'm just going to use it to locate the points that i need don't forget it's going to stay permanently on that side so since it's same permanently now i think i'm supposed to turn it this way so that it can it can stay on this the way i want so if it's staying this way then i can go ahead don't forget we just have to be sure what we are doing now this is supposed to be this way when it comes to design seriously you have to check it so that you won't make any kind of error so this is the one that perfectly fits it and don't forget i'm supposed to place it this way and this is not really looking like what i have want so this is what i actually want so sure that you fix it properly and let it align with the front by the time you want to I'm just using a pencil I can easily clean it just to demarcate where it's going to be that's the essence of all those marks just to place it then I'll go ahead and use my gum to hold it down so now according to my to the to the mark I have on it I don't know if you can see the mark you can see so I'm just going to align it on it that way just for me to get what I need so this is what I need I'm just going to now add use my glue i'm going to make use of this our shoe glue don't forget it's much more better to use this i'm just going to just to hold it down first just going to try to use it to hold it down now sometimes after use you find out that it is blocked you have to really be careful with it so i just noticed that now so i'm going to align it and place it on it is important be careful why you do that because by the time it stays there it will not remove so you can see i've already hold that down then i have this going in here and this way so I think the space is much I don't want it to have so much space so you can see that we are good to go and then we are going to do the same thing for the left side and the right side you can see what our design look like isn't this lovely 
see what we have this is so beautiful and cute so the next thing we are going to do is don't forget we are using a double-sided so so you don't have anything to worry about no wrapping nothing 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 so we are just going to go ahead and you can see that i have left and right i told us you have to really watch that or else you will end up creating the same leg because if you create the same leg you'll find out that you cannot use it for the other one you can see where this buckle is facing and you can see where the other one is facing so i think we can we are good to go now this is going to be for this particular leg so let's just go ahead and do that so what am i doing no it's not for this leg this is for this leg yuppie so now let's go we are just going to apply our gum and hold it down that's just the basic thing we are going to do now don't forget we use our last to create the shape so we don't have anything to worry about even if it's not sizing the person the person can decide to adjust using the belt so and all we need to do now is just to go ahead and use our glue to hold it down so just try and do that so i'm just going to make sure that it enters into it perfectly well be careful your hand wow 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 this is lovely So just try and put it all around it it's already it already has a shape so we don't have anything to worry about just make sure that you allow it to align properly which is the most important thing oh i love what i'm seeing i don't know if you do too but i really love what i'm doing so i want us to know that when it comes to shoemaking creativity is really what matters it's not your ability to know all the techniques and know all the styles it's just the beginner class and as a beginner if you can produce this i'll bet it with you sky is actually your starting point you can imagine having this in different colors and different sizes and just you know showing it off i think the soul is about I'm not sure the price of the of the of the soul for now, but I know it's not about it's not up to three dollars to get this so it's not about it's not up to three dollars to get this kind of a double sided double you know double sole and you have your you have your glue you can buy you can decide to use it so many times because you don't really need much you can see the quantity I just used now and our shoes are firm and perfectly ready as you can see so all I need to do is to just go into my shoe so to say i'm not entering it i'm just going to wear it when i say go into it i mean i'm going to be wearing it i want to believe you have learned a lot from this particular you know grooming now you know what grooming is you know what a buckle is you know how to fix a buckle using rivets we have really learned a lot in this class so see you next time bye